Okay, so maths paper one is done and dusted for 2021. Uh, I spoke to some students afterwards and overall the impression was that students got on well and they liked the paper. Um, I suppose it's easy enough when you have such a, a wide choice on the paper um, and being able to leave out two questions in each, each section um, means that if there's a couple of questions you don't like the look of, you just don't have to do them. So let me know how you got on in the comments below. Um, which questions did you do? What did you leave out? Apparently question 10 was really hard and a lot of students left that out. But uh, I'm just gonna have a quick look through it now. Um, literally a few seconds on each question just to see what they were. I'm gonna do solutions to each question over the next few days um, and I'll have videos up on them starting next week. Um, I'll probably, I'll, I'll wait a little while just because you need to focus on the rest of your exams. You don't want, you don't need to be looking through solutions of these questions um, just yet. So um, I'll put up solutions within the next week or so. So let's jump in and see what we have. So I've had a quick look at it already, but just a little bit more in depth, but not too much. Uh, first question was complex numbers. Okay, so uh, rare that that's on question one. Uh, easy enough, I think uh, students said. Um, so if you're okay with your complex numbers, then you were probably okay with that question. And I think a lot of students did it. Question two, I heard was a very easy bit of algebra. So probably a lot of students did this one. Um, it looks fairly straightforward there. A um, little bit of long division maybe and find roots of equations. So yeah, nothing too bad there. Question three, this one caused a bit of discussion. Some students didn't realize that these measurements here were the areas of the faces. Um, and we're a little bit confused, but then figured it out after a while. So if you weren't sure about that, then uh, don't worry, you weren't on your own for that. Uh, continues on here, um, roots of a quadratic, uh, hence or otherwise linking it up with this uh, indices uh, quadratic here. So rearrange that and use your answers from this. Um, hopefully you've seen questions like that before. They're quite common. Uh, question four, proof by induction, divisibility. Great, if you know your divisibility uh, proof by induction, that shouldn't have been any issues. Uh, sequences and series can cause problems for some students. So um, maybe some students might have done this bit and, and then maybe this bit wasn't as easy for them. But if you were happy enough with your proof by induction and then your sequences and series, probably a very doable question. Question five, calculus, uh, derivative can be expressed in the form of this. So find A, B and C. So differentiate it and rearrange it into that form there. Um, another function here, find a range of values for one function greater than, or the der one derivative greater than the other derivative rather. So differentiate both, let them, um, let one greater than the other and, and solve. Um, there's a diagram there. Uh, find the value of k, so find where the tangent cuts the, the x-axis or the y-axis. So find the equation of the tangent and see where it cuts the y-axis, I suppose. Uh, I will be doing again, I'll be doing solutions to all of these questions over the next week or so. Uh, here we are, some more calculus. So this shows the uh, derivative of the cubic function show that this is the derivative. So basically it doesn't matter that it's a derivative, I suppose at the moment, you have a function um, here, show that that's the function. Uh, find a slope, uh, find the maximum positive value of the slope of the tangent. So um, that would be this up here. So where's the, the local max on that? Uh, the graph passes through to point zero, two, zero minus two, uh, find the equation of h of x. So uh, find the uh, find the original e equation, I suppose, or the, orig the original function, um, a bit of integration on that, and then you have a, a point on it as well. Um, so that was section A. So let me know what ones you did, what ones you didn't do. So some, some nice, easy questions in there and then some that were probably a bit more difficult. Uh, section B then, I heard all about this question here with the pendulums. 
Um, there was some discussions about it afterwards. Uh, long enough questions and I think um, was probably tricky enough, but a lot of students did it. Um, so finding distance traveled uh, when by the, the bob on the pendulum as it swings and it reduces each time. Uh, and it continues on there all about the pendulum then. So let me know if you did it. I'll have solutions coming up um, next week at some stage. Question eight. What have we got here? Um, a bit of calculus and functions. So drawing a graph there. Good stuff. Um, then find a derivative. Find a maximum height above the ground. So uh, maximum of your maximum height of your derivative. Uh, continues on there. Yes, yeah, so a bit in that question, but I suppose if you're if you like your calculus, probably uh, probably nice enough. Uh, find using calculus the height above the ground in meters at the instant the track passes through an inflection point. So you have to figure out where the inflection point is and then find the, the height above the ground. So find the, the y value of it there. Um, and then find the average height of the section of track above the ground. So you have your average height um, or your average um, average value of a function formula there. Question nine, the cup of coffee. Heard about this one as well. So this is your, uh, your exponentials question here so I think a lot of students were happy enough with it and it was similar enough to questions they've done before and it uh, continues on there there was the sugar cube yeah this one uh, the sugar cube was put into coffee the sugar keeps the cube uh, sugar keeps its cube shape as it dissolves so probably a hypothetical situation here uh, as the sugar cube dissolves its volume decreases at a constant rate um, find a rate of change, so a rates of change question there. And then on to the question 10, the, the dreaded question 10 apparently. Um, so what is it, uh, calculus there again to start off water flowing into a tank and being removed at the same time. So probably would have come across questions like this before. But the thing about this question 10 was that it goes over here and you might think it's finished and that's it. but it continues on the next page and then you look at this and this was apparently scary for a lot of students just a lot of words a lot of things going on so um a lot of students that i spoke to didn't do question 10 which is grand because you didn't have to um so that's uh, that's the paper look I, I wasn't going through any questions there but I'll go through and do solutions over the next while, so keep an eye out for them. Let me know how you got on again, and uh, best of luck in paper two on Monday. Hopefully you'll do just as well in paper two as you did in paper one, and I will talk to you again. Thanks very much.